Yeah, they're the same. Con congruent. Yeah, so you can say KL is congruent to LN, comma. Now for MP, you can say that ML is congruent to LP. Are that in the same box? Yeah. Now this is the hard part for most students is the reason. It's often the definition of the thing you just said, the definition of midpoint. All right. All right. So we're trying to prove the triangles are congruent. We have two sides congruent. So we're either going to be use SSS, SAS, ASA, or angle, angle, S. Mm -hmm. Since we have two angle, two sides, we're, we're probably going to use either SSS or SAS. Do we know anything about KM and NP? KM and MK? Um... KM and N, yeah, NP. They're, uh, are they angles? No, the, the KM, KM, and Okay, yeah, that, those yeah. lines. The lines. Yeah, those sides. Do we know anything about those sides? Uh, well, they're congruent. How do you know that? Uh, because of the other congruent lines. No, no. So you can't just say, well, they look congruent, or I think they're, they, you have to have some information. They're not congruent, as far as we know. So let's go to an angle. Are there any angles in this triangle that are congruent? Uh, I forget. How do you find angles again? Because all the, the and a, a triangle has three sides. Yep. One, two, three sides, and one, two, three angles. So I'm just asking you, like, do you see any angles that are congruent? Like anything shown as congruent in the picture or otherwise? Oh, yeah. Like maybe. Uh, K and N are congruent angles angle k like this one this yeah one angle my k and angle n i think they're congruent okay again i like you can't just say well they look congruent you have to have like a justification for it and if it doesn't show it there's not a justification i know this is hard to hear uh because you've been able to assume these things for a while now in math those two angles that are drawn in red are congruent. What kind of angles are those that meet at an X? Oh, side angle side. No, angle. What kind of angles are those? Not not the triangle congruence. What kind of angles meet at an X? I gave their uh, what did say? so like I can hear myself last lesson or last week being like okay asking the exact same question and then giving you an answer and I can remember even saying how are you going to remember this for the future and you're like I'm going to yeah I, I said I wrote it. it down and <laughs> I'm looking for where I wrote it down yeah so these are these are vertical angles. Okay, so angle angle M L K is congruent to angle P L N. Vertical angles are congruent. Okay. So now you have a side, an angle, and a side. You know the triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Theorem, postulate, whatever. All right. So wait, what did we do for number four? Yeah. Well, it, I don't know, we 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 didn't need it, or maybe they split two, question two and part number two into two lines. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes they give you more lines than you need. Okay. What does that say in SAS what? Theorem, postulate. I don't know what you guys are using. It doesn't, it's just, it's usually just SAS. 
side, angle side. That's usually good enough. But there's theorems, there's postulates in geometry. I'm not like uh not big on on the words. Okay. I got it down. All right. You ready to go on to number two? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, in terms of just maximizing your score, you should, like we did in the last one, you always want to put as much as you can down to start out. BD bisect angle ABC. That's given. Angle BAD is congruent to angle BCD. That's also given. And then triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. So like, not quite 50%, but a lot of it, which means you should be able to get a lot of points on these without actually doing any of the work, you know, especially if you're stuck. I mean, try to do a minimum you can. All right, so for each of these givens, what does it mean if BD bisects angle ABC? What does it mean about the angle, those two angles that I've drawn there in, uh, in black? What does it mean by the two angles? They're... Uh... They're uh, well, they're congruent. Uh, they're congruent. Yeah. They're congruent. That's what bisect means. Bisect mm -hmm. means congruent. So, give me the one on the left here. Give me a way to label that angle on the left. You got to use three letters. A B D. A B D. So angle A B D is congruent to. Give me the one on the right. Uh, C B D. CBD. All right. And that's th that's the definition of an angle bisector. F of a bisector. All right. All right. Um, now let's use the other. Uh, well, the other given isn't all, all that useful. So those are congruent. Um, Angle bad, B-A-D, is congruent to B-C-D, okay. All right, now to prove the triangles are congruent, we have angle, sorry, we have side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side. Wait, hold on, why did you put lines in the? Uh, in there's the... just different ways to, there's different ways to notate angles are the same. You can use like, multiples of that or you can put dashes through them yeah the, mul the multiples are what i'm used to okay um it's you might see both so don't uh, don't take too much stock in one or the other just be prepared to see both the next thing here is since you have two angles again probably not sss probably not that it's either angle side angle or angle angle side do you see any other side that is congruent in this triangle? Hmm. Side? Do you see any other sides that are congruent? Okay. BD congruent. AC, they're congruent. No, no. Like like any anything that's either in the picture that's shown that's congruent or not. That's what I'm trying to get you to answer. Like. Do you see anything in there that's in the picture? Not that it looks, that it shows that it is congruent. No, but I think I know what the... So the next thing is you ask yourself, is anything shared? Oh, yeah, it's directly cut in half. Very... No, no, shared, shared, shared. Anything shared by the triangles. Oh, uh, B and D. Yes. So BD is congruent to DB. Do you remember the reason by that? Oh, um, reflective, right, reflective pair. Yes, reflexive.
So which of these is it? Is it ASA or AAS? Oh, it's um is it angle side angle? Well, you're asking me as if as if like you can't ask me the same question back. No, no, if no. It's it's, angle, I'm pretty sure it's angle side angle, but so so let me let me let me like a 50 -50 explain these. Well, of course, but that's not yeah, the angles, point. Angle angle side angle is like angle, then a side, and then an angle. Right. Right. But, so, and then so, angle, angle, side is just an angle, angle, and then a side. It depends yeah, so, on like how I read it. I could be reading it wrong, but I'm like confident it's uh, angle, side, angle. So are you, um, that means the side that's congruent is between the two angles that are congruent. Is that is that the way this is drawn? Yes. Okay, like like to me, I'm looking at A and B, and the side between them is A B. And there's nothing there. Oh. Angle, angle. Is it angle angle side? That it's angle angle side, isn't it? Well, yeah. It, it's like, well, it's not that one. It must be uh uh yeah. I mean, it's like if it's not one, it's the other. So yes, all right. All right, so get that down. We'll move on to number three in a moment here. Huh. Well, we can put in okay. Gibbons. Yeah, there's three givens. Um, that, that just means it's going to go pretty quickly here. So S is the mid midpoint of QU. And that's just been given. QR is congruent to ST. RS is congruent to TU. All right, um, so if S is the midpoint, and then this last one in here. So this is a great example of where if you just do this, you've got almost three quarters of the proof done and you know, you're well on your way. Um, so if, if S is the midpoint of QU, what does that mean about QS, Q to us and S to you? Are there uh well, the S is midpoint of Q and U. Yes, that's given. What does that mean for the two segments connecting them? Oh, it. I didn't see that. Um, what does it mean? Uh, um, so I always use this subway analogy. You go to subway. They get the foot long. It's cut down the middle. What does that mean about each of the pieces? Not, no, that means they're uh, shared. Good. They're not shared. I mean, they're, they're separate pieces. Yeah. Um, it's like There's one slice of pizza left which for you and your friend. Mm-hmm. And you say, let's split it, oh, cut it equal. down the, the middle. Yeah, they're equal. So Q to S is congruent to S to U. And that is the definition of a midpoint. You'll see a lot of definition ofs in these proofs. Okay. I want you to tell me why the triangles are congruent now. You may want to fill in some things in the triangle there as well. Hmm. Is R and T, are they, uh, are they angles? They are, but QR is a segment, ST is a segment. It's good to it's good QRS to QRS and 
and STU angles? They are angles, but they're not congruent. We have nothing in there to suggest that they're congruent. I would label the triangle with this other information. Like, what does it mean if QR is congruent to ST? How do you label that on the triangle? Oh, we put lines. Okay. And I would suggest doing that for the other one as well. And that might just help you to side, figure side, out. Side, side, side? Yes, exactly. All right, got it. Any questions, thoughts on that? Nope. All right, great. We can probably do one more. Which one do you want to do? Uh, number four. Yeah. All right. Triangles F, G, H, and triangle F, J, H are right triangles. Where the freak is the double-sided tape? Aiden, where's the tape? One, one second, please. Huh? Sorry, my sister was not... Okay, you had a lot of patience there. I don't know that I could have responded as patiently as you did. <laughs> All right, so you can see, I mean, it's a recipe. You end up just always doing this. Yeah. Just tell her. Wait, no, don't tell her it was me, though. Congruent J H. H. F J H. All right. Okay. So uh, we can label G and H. And J and H. That's that's what that's what I would recommend doing is labeling the stuff on the triangle that's given. Okay. What does it mean if a triangle's a right triangle? No, I've never heard of that. That means are uh, those are the uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, H L hypotenuse. Okay, so that's 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 the reason. But what does this box mean? And this box mean? That means it's an angle. What kind of angle? Uh, so it's a 90 degree angle. Right. So you uh, have to say that the measure of angle F G H equals 90 degrees and the measure of angle. No, actually, that's not what they want you to do. I, I, take that back. I apologize. What they want you to do is you already have a leg that's congruent. Can you prove that the hypotenuse is congruent? Yes. You can. You can say that FH is congruent to HF by what? What's the reason there? Oh, uh, well, they're equal. So it's like definition of uh No, no, that the, they are they're equal but not because they're equal. You what is it about them that makes them the same? It's shared. What's the word that oh, they use for when it's shared? Shared. Um, you um, mentioned this earlier in proof number two. Why do we, why we'll look at number two, step three or four. Oh, reflexive pair? Reflexive property. No, property. All right, so that's the hypotenuse and leg that you need to uh, to do this. Um, is uh, this is one this... second. Sure. Okay. 
Sorry, my sister started screaming. Uh, so do you have to turn this in tomorrow? Uh, no, actually, this is a uh, work for the for tomorrow. I, I don't have anything for tonight. Oh, that's good. Um, the reason I'm asking is uh, I was going to give you some hints for this one and the other one. In this one, you're gonna you're gonna I'll, I'll do the hints in sort of red here. You're gonna show that. Uh, well, yeah, you're gonna show that this angle is compared to this angle, and this angle is compared to this angle by alternate interior angles. That's your hint for that one. And then for number six, number six here, whenever you have overlapping triangles, you want to draw them separately. So like this, V, D, W, uh, V, W, that will help you see that this side is congruent to this side by reflexive. If that didn't make any sense, you'll have a shot tomorrow when you're when you're at school to try to make some more Wait, sense. Wait, where do I put the where do I put the Y? Uh you don't need the Y. Y is useless. Oh. In this one. Well, I take that back, but uh, TVY, maybe I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Never mind. This, this, what I wrote won't help for this one. I apologize. I thought it was a different proof. Yeah. That's what happens when you rush. You make a lot of mistakes. Even I do. <laughs>